like a massive dork riding around with the camera <laughs> in Hollywood because everybody's doing it, but yeah. nah, you know, gotta do it. One eight four four so dirty. <laughs> I will. If I could hang out with one Hollywood celebrity, it would be Bobcat Goldthwait. He is my favorite, and I genuinely believe that we would probably get along. Uh, what about you? If you could hang out with one oh. celebrity. Oh, we have Tom Hanks. I think we could nerd out talking about typewriters. I could see that. <laughs> if you guys come to Arkansas, I swear, I swear on my hands, I will take you on the Sling Blade tour. <laughs> I swear. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know if this stuff actually works. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's delicious. I tried to get a whiskey, there's no bartender. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was okay. Sounds like a faucet, a bartender one. <laughs> This is a good friend of mine, Alex. Uh, I met him, uh, I don't know, a little while ago, uh, and he was road managing Dead Beto, one of my favorite bands, and, and we just hit it off. Uh, and every time I come to the LA or region, I, last time I saw you, we were in San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco, I, I come to see you. Whenever you're in the California area, I'll pop up like a, like a rodent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just honored that you're here, man. Oh, so thank man. You. Thank always, you. always a pleasure to thank see you, you man. man. And thank always you. a pleasure to see you perform. It's, it's my honor, man. Thank For you. real, man. Honestly. So, this is what it's about. This is why you go on the road. This is why you rock and roll. Here you go, man. See you on the road. Yep. Unexpected how awesome the show was tonight in LA. Go. What? Mazzy Star or Starflyer 59. Oh boy, that is, that's, oh, that's too tough. Come on. Man. Give an answer or my fist drops on your stomach. Oh man, that's no good. Oh gosh. Here. Oh gosh. Whoa. I've been listening to more Mazzy Star lately, so I'm going to say Mazzy Star. There's no way I could have done that. Good, Kyle. It wasn't easy. Well, we're here uh, with my buddy Jason Simon of Dead Meadow. He came down uh, to the Thirsty Crow to have a drink with us. What's up, man? Oh, doing good. So it's a short little walk from my house. <laughs> Hell yeah. Halfway decent spot. It's hard to find a, a mellow bar in, in LA, but this one's, uh, one's alright. Well, I'm actually compared to this bar at one point to the Stone Temple Pilots, where like when it first opened, I was like, this fuck sucks. But as, as a million worse bars opened up, eventually I was like, yeah, it's kind of like, like the way that the way eventually you were like, fuck, what happened? The Stone Pilots are kind of like the best thing on the radio now. From being the worst, like everything else just like sunk lower, you know. Oh, this is a now and again. Yeah. It's always just to meet our friend Alex Moreno, who's in there, who you can hang out with. Because he's I get many attacks at like 5 p.m. to be like, I'm at Thirsty Crow, come down. And then like, for me, I'm always just starting to be like, oh man, I just like started working on songs. Like, I'm not ready to go to the bar yet. Like, right. I'll talk to you. If you're there in six hours, I'll come by. But, but no. <laughs> Seem to like the French fries. Mm. <laughs> yep, so here we are in Jason Simon's personal home studio. Listening to some jams. What you got going on in here, man? All sorts of good shit. Map of the U.S. Pre Columbian map of the U.S. Awesome night hanging out with our buddies Alex and Jason and Rick. Uh, wish I'd have got more footage, but we were just having too much fun to be putting the camera up in everybody's face. We'll be seeing Rick again later on Saturday. He's playing the improv, so that'll be cool.
We're about to get up out of here and go see Conan O'Brien. On and on and on. Travel like Kevin Arnold lives here. Uh, there it is. This one here? No, one up. Oh, yeah, it is on it. Yes. Check out what we found. They're home, damn it. Just stuck. Uh, where, where's Winnie Cooper's house? What would you do if I sing at a tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're here in um, Long Beach. We're about to get picked up by a good friend of mine, Dan Paquin, to go make a video or an interview or a performance about mental health and my music. This might get airy. So what's up, man? Uh, where are we? Well, we're here at the depot in Torrance, and this is my kitchen. I've been here 27 years now, and it's yeah. very simple. Fresh, you know. Uh, the word organic doesn't mean a damn thing to me. <laughs> and the word farm to table doesn't mean anything. Because I've been in the business 48 years, and I never, ever got a tomato from a paint factory. They always <laughs> came from a goddamn farm to my table. <laughs> so I don't understand it, but... Michael Shaver, thank you so much for having us, and I'm looking forward to this steak. Anytime. Thank you. Well, Dan has treated us here at the uh, depot, and uh, might be one of the best steaks I've ever had in my life. I wish we could have uh, spent more time with Michael. Michael is definitely an Andre the Giant of the craft. This is my buddy Dan. Man, what are we? What are we doing? And on the first time we met, we went to a hotel room after winning. He said, let's get weird. <laughs> so we're going to get weird, man. We're going to uh, talk musician to musician about a song you wrote and getting really, really deep, personal about how that song cut me open in a really good way, just a surgical way, just cut out a piece of me that I needed to get healing again. Smooth moves, look at that. It's like the Michael Jordan of camera phone equipment. So you're gonna be running the camera for this uh, little documentary filming? Yes. Well, looks like you've earned your whiskey. <laughs> I mean, uh, look at the guitars that Dan has uh, presented uh, for my options. We've got the 135. We've got the SG that I think he bought. He said he bought in 05, but he kind of freaking signed out. Then we have a 69 here closest to you. 69 uh, SG, what did he say? SG Standard, which just plays like buttered glass. So I think I'm gonna go with the 69 today because, man, I really want that type of guitar. So we're here in Long Beach uh, with one of my best friends in the world, Kelly Bostic, who happens to be married to another one of my best friends in the world, Tim Bostic. Uh, she's out here on business. She's an Arkansas girl, but our trips just so happen to uh, connect. So what up, Kelly? Wow. Man, we've been friends for, I don't know, dang near 20 years. Uh, I tried to cheat off of her in college and she was like, no way. What do you think, Kelly? Just what do you think? I think I would love to live here. <laughs> <laughs> but Tim would say no. I don't think we can afford it. I know, we couldn't. <laughs> We're so poor, we could never afford this. 
Anywho, uh, Kelly, uh, just to kind of tell all here, if you would say there was one thing that you and I nerd out on together, what would that be? Uh, supernatural and paranormal nerdy shit. <laughs> That's all we talk about is <laughs> Why are we such nerds? Such dorks, I don't know. And such a good friend of me for so long. You've been so supportive of uh, me in so many ways, including letting me live in your house, um, just telling me not to stop when things looked very dire. I just want to say, anybody that's watching this video, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful human being. Aww, thank you, thanks. Kelly. We love no, you so much. No, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> you and Kyle. We are slowly crawling toward our old friend, uh, Rick Wood, who is a stand-up comedian out here in LA and a writer for a TV show, which does pretty good. Uh, anywho, uh, Rick, and Will and I, we go way back, man, um, back to the Chicago days, where we were, at the time, we were all just playing folk music around the city every night, staying up every night, getting drunk. I can't lie, it was one of the funnest times of my life. But, um, really proud of Rick, man. He's really come out here to LA and made it work for him, and he's just a guy that is always working on his craft. He's really, uh, sharp dude a thoughtful guy and just uh just another one of our uh, close close friends one of our favorite people that you get to meet on our video and uh, i know it seems like we're just running into all our favorite people we just know so many cool people doing cool things and it's inspiring if you ask me inspiration is is the uh, currency of the soul the big rig 18 wheeler uh, limo. That's what we need. <laughs> well, good evening. It is not. Like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> just dander. But you started performing, your, you started your old performance life as a musician. Yeah. So, why the jump from music to comedy? I was, I was screwing around too much. Yes. Yes. I had to get serious about screwing around. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, William. Drink your Bloody Mary. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Actually, give me a sip. <laughs> this is how you're going to get a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> After we've had a sip. That's pretty good. What do you mean, getting serious about screwing around? You're screwing around. I was doing music. I was always joking around. Um, I was writing serious songs, I thought. And then, uh, Someone at a music, this like kind of festival thing I was at, like songwriting intensive, I don't know what it was. It was like a both, some hybrid event. Um, they were like, you should do comedy, man. I was like, oh, I think it's as easy as just being the funny guy in a group. You gotta be up there alone. So I went to go do an open mic just to prove that I wouldn't be able to do it so I could get back to writing songs about <laughs> death. And then, uh, I actually had a lot of fun doing it and it went all right. So I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Like, nah, when I'm having a real bad set like that, I touch my dick. I feel the same way. Yeah, I can't really touch mine. I'm uh, Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this restaurant. Yeah, the Conrad's. LA or Chicago? If I could, Chicago wasn't so damn cold. Yeah. They'd edge out LA maybe. Yeah, Chicago's really cold. <laughs> I'm too spoiled by the weather here, man. But I like the more dense city. Risk. I loved your set. How do you think your set went? It was pretty good. It was good. I heard someone in the crowd lean to a friend go, he's really good. <laughs> I like people <laughs> do that. Well, anyway, uh, go check out our buddy Rick Wood. Where do they check you out at? I'm on Twitter. I guess that's the most place you see a comic doing bullshit. Twitter? Twitter what? At Rick Wood, but the O's and Wood are zeros because some damn psychic white coach or some shit. 
which is also named Rick Wood, and, and you probably knew Twitter was going to exist before I did. You're not a psychic life coach. No, huh. no neither of those things. I'm barely a life. <laughs> So this is Matt. He's a good friend of ours as well. He's also an Arkansas boy, but he's out here. He's been out here in LA forever. And he's been, yeah. And he's uh, he's been pretty instrumental to our whole chilling and being comfortable and hanging out here in LA. We figured we would save the best for last. He's actually going to help uh, reproduce one of my old songs. We're putting tracks on it. He's a DJ and he does his own thing. And he's just a cool dude. What's up, Matt? What up? I love you. I love you. <laughs> and this is Tommy. This is uh, Matt's partner. And he's also been very instrumental to uh, making sure that we were very comfortable and taking care of this trip. It warmed my heart and chilled it simultaneously. So congrats on the bipolarity of it all. Um, but I loved it. I'm so glad I met you. Instrumental or karaoke? <laughs> Oh, hello. Well, we made it out of LA and we're on our way to San Luis Obispo for our early Easter afternoon show. We had a great time and hanging out in Los Angeles. All the stars aligned, all of our friends weren't on the road because typically they are. Um, and we knew Kelly was gonna be out there. We kind of engineered the trip to where her trip and our trip would come together and we would have a few days off to go horse around, I guess. It's famine, but sometimes it's feast. And man, we feasted. All thanks to our friends. I find a big part of the road is being at the absolute mercy of people. Some friends, some new friends, and some just absolute strangers. This time around so far, we have been very lucky to have had free places to stay and a lot of times free meals. So LA really worked out in our favor this time. It is not always that sweet. One place Cheryl Crow, Black Crows, or Counting Crows, or Corona the Beer. Oh, Counting Crows. Good answer. Well, we did LA. Uh, now we came up here to the beautiful, uh, where are we? San Luis Obispo. And we played last night at a little DIY shop downtown. It was awesome. We played with some good friends of ours. Uh, we did, in fact, find a cheap hotel room. And now we're heading to Santa Cruz and continuing our tour up the West Coast. Um, thanks for hanging out. If you like this video or you don't, eat my shorts. If you want to see more, be sure to go down and push the make your own video button because it's not hard at all and we'll see you later peace